Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Adobe Live. I'm Katie, and I'm here with Sarah Raj today. Um, we'll be live at the same time uh, tomorrow as well. Um, and you'll have an opportunity to win a prize within the first 30 minutes of our stream, so make sure you stick around um, and see what stuff we have in store. Um, Sarah, do you want to uh, talk us through what you plan to work on today and what's on the schedule? Sure. So this morning we kicked off the uh, Creative Challenge, uh, which is the flight check-in experience for SmartWatch. Um, so we did a few screens. We went over, um, you know, what is, you, you know, where do you book your flights or like what the details are. And then we also sort of flushed it out and made sure we got a QR code in there. Uh, so today we're going to kind of like take that apart and flush it out even more. So, you know, what is what is pre-boarding look like? You know, is there a countdown? Uh, what does in-flight experience look like? Do you want to select movies versus um, food and all that good stuff? And then once you've reached your final destination. So we're just going to work through all of this um, and flush it out as we go. Sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. And for um, any new streamers, do you want to introduce uh, yourself a little more and just give a little bit more context to your background? Yeah. So my name is Sarah. Um, I currently live in LA. I work as a product designer for an interior design startup in LA, which is awesome. Um, so I've been hosting the uh, Adobe uh, XD Challenge, Creative Challenge. So be sure to tune in tomorrow, 8.30 and 9. We've got two more challenges left. Um, but uh, yeah. So just Designer, cool. love everything about design. Uh, we've done over our creative challenges, we've done mobile, we've done web, we did an iPad. Um, today we did a smartwatch uh, screen design. So we've been doing a different sort of like platforms or uh, yeah. devices. So it's just been fun. Yeah. Very cool. And for anyone who wants a little more details about today's daily challenge, um, go to behance.net slash live, log in, and you can click the challenge tab next to the chat, and it'll have the full details there, which is uh, what Sarah's going to work through today. Um, and we are also going to be reviewing uh, submissions about an hour and a half into our stream. So um, if you have questions, you can ask one of our moderators in the chat. Um, and otherwise, we're going to just get right to work. So, awesome. Cool. Cool. Um, Let's see, so if we switch over to my screen, uh, before I get started, I wanted to quickly go over if anybody's interested in following uh, Katie. She's got awesome illustrations up uh, on her Instagram and like really cute illustrations, so please go uh, follow her on Behance Twitter, and she's also got um, Behance Twitter, Instagram, am I missing out on anything? Um, no, those are those are the main okay, ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so go follow her. Thanks for being my, my hype woman. And you can go follow Sarah on Behance and Twitter. You didn't even show yours. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> uh, and you can follow her work on uh, Behance and Twitter as well. Yeah. So we'll keep the conversation going. Cool. Um, so this morning, a quick recap is that we flushed out a little bit um, of the state. So you know, home default. Uh, what does it look like in wallet? And then once you on. Um, uh, open up a certain sort of like if it's like American Airlines, then what does that look like and your mm -hmm. list of flights? Um, and then more information of like before check-in, where is your final destination, um, checking out. So I went and added in a little bit details, but awesome. uh, this is what we worked on this morning, which is fun. Cool. So I kind of like put together a sort of a flight experience journey to quickly talk over how we're planning on uh, designing for this and how we should be thinking about it. So before you even say you want to go to a a destination, you are going to go through research and you're going to like figure out like what is the best airline for you, what are the timings and all of that prep stuff uh, before. So that's mostly on our research state and once you figured out, you know, this is the airline that you want to go through, you're going to go ahead and book that uh, airline. Mm -hmm. And then after that is more a journey. So once you've booked it till the final destination is where you're um, experiencing different sort of uh, checkpoints. Yep. So, you know, bef after booking, you're going to go to the airport and then you're going to be in the airport and you're going to go through, you know, uh, security and like boarding and all of that right before you get onto the airplane and then you're in flight. And then you uh, arrive at your final destination, and then you go and enjoy your holiday. So it's a lot of like planning, purchase, prepare, depart, and onboard. 
arrival and stay. Yeah. So that's mostly like trying to break down our sort of uh, you know journey points. Um, I love this diagram. Yeah, yeah it's pretty fun. Great. Looks like Lufthansa, the yellow and <laughs> yeah. the branding. Yeah, it's definitely inspired from the Lufth Lufthansa's uh, uh, branding. Nice. So I went ahead and today um, kind of like, uh, since I've already been kind of planning and working on it, I went ahead and broke it down into things that I want to achieve today. So, you know, I wanted to build a booking confirm um, screen and then before uh, boarding, what does that look like? And in flight, we can flush it out as we get to it and then final destination. Cool. And then um, if you have time, we can also prototype quick screens and show you guys like how easy it is to get yeah. done. So. Awesome. Awesome. And also, if you go to that challenge tab at Behance.net slash live, I believe there is a link to a smartwatch UI kit. Um, so if you want to submit work for the challenge, um, for us to review, um, Sarah's pulled it up here. This has a full sort of smartwatch UI kit that you can use as a starting point for your own designs. So yeah. that's a, it's a great resource. So we're going to be borrowing a lot of elements from here, which is great. Um, Do you own a smartwatch? No, I don't. Okay. Well, I, I don't used either. to, but I gave okay. it away. Uh, was it an Apple Watch or? Yeah, it was an okay. Apple Watch, yeah. You say you don't have one? I don't have one either. How many of our uh, viewers tuned yeah. in have, have smart watches? Team smart watch? Team no smart watch? I couldn't get into it, I'll be yeah. honest. I kind of feel like my wrists are small, so it kind of. Yeah. yeah, I can see the value and the utility. I think for me personally, I just realized, or I didn't want it to sort of always be on and have notifications kind of reach me yeah. all the time, so. It kind of like distracts you. Yeah. I'm just gonna use this for Awesome. Friends. So welcome to everyone. Thanks again for joining us uh, at Adobe Live. Uh, I'm Katie and this is Sarah, and Sarah today is gonna be designing um, a smartwatch app, is that what you call it? An experience yeah. um, for flight uh, journeys, checking in, booking, things like that. Ooh, that border radius. <laughs> so we're starting with the booking confirmed step. Yeah, okay. like a quick, um, so once you've, you know, booked your flight, you get mm -hmm. like a little confirmation saying that, oh, you've booked. Cool. Um, so just a little notification that we want to kind of flush it out. Um, let's see your booking. Your maybe let's. Uh, mm -hmm. I did this last time. Maybe you should do this. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> your flight. All right, we got some team traditional watch Eric in the in the chat and some team team smart watches. I see both sides for sure. <laughs> A lot of people like uh, <laughs> smart watches there. Okay. Does that make sense? Your flight booking is confirmed. Your your flight is confirmed. Your flight is confirmed. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could add like your flight to X is confirmed. Yeah, like more details. Yeah. Flight to Maui. Do you, Where do you want to go? Ooh, Maui <laughs> sounds good. Is that how you spell it? I have I no idea, know. actually. Let's see. Ma Maui. I think so. I think it's just M-A-U-I. Oh, it's just one I? Okay. Unclear. Okay, yeah, just one I. One I. Have you been to Maui before? I've never been to Hawaii, actually. Yeah. I really want to go, yeah. What about you? Mm -mm. Mm. It's on my list. On your list, yeah. Yeah. Now he's confirmed. Let's go borrow some quick CTAs. Cool. So this is the main call to action for the notification? Mm -hmm. Cool. Just like right here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
What's everybody in chat doing? We have an invitation to come to Lagos, Nigeria, which Ooh, sounds amazing. Yes. I love that. Emmanuel, yes. Well, <laughs> thank you for inviting us. Yeah. What airline do we want to? Hmm. Do you have any preference? Where flies to Hawaii? Um, Does American fly to Hawaii? I would imagine so. That makes right? sense. Yeah. I think Alaska does too. I feel like I've seen a lot of ads for them. It's, since I have the American. It's kind oh, of nice. So what are you thinking with the snooze? So you can set another reminder for yeah. your flight? Okay. We have a question from Niels in the chat asking about including Apple Pay in the experience. Ooh, that'd be cool to add. Yeah, it'd be a seamless way, I think, to add, or like buy upgrades or things even while you're on the flight yeah. potentially could be cool. Um, Maybe with like one, um, you know, what is that? One click pay mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah. Uh, because our the real estate on the Apple Watch is kind of Pretty limited. Yeah, yep. so, you know, puts a lot of restrictions well. This one, nice. so what we're gonna do is we're going to do a countdown, so maybe like X amount of time before your flight leaves, and then you know what terminal you're at, what gate you're at, and what's your seat number. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to kind of like swipe through. So we're gonna build that out. Okay. So let's go borrow some assets from here. I'm curious how you thought through those different steps in that before boarding flow. Was that sort of um, something that you worked through this morning or just based on your own personal experience having mm -hmm. gone through flights? So looking at like a lot of exemplars uh, out there and kind of seeing how they've designed as mm -hmm. well. So a lot of it is that um, they have, um, you know, it's bolder, it's it's simple, it's um, the information is small. So you want to be able to kind of like elevate that. Yep. Um, so a lot of it is like looking at exemplars of the, what's out there. Mm -hmm. Let's borrow this one. Yeah, let's do that. Would you ever want to own a smartwatch, Katie? I've definitely thought about it. Um, I think using it for all the health and activity tracking um, mm -hmm. would be helpful for me. Yeah. And I think that could be cool. Um, I just don't see myself wearing it that often, so I haven't made the investment yet. What about you? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Mm -hmm. um, but it would be kind of, I would want to own it just for designing purposes, not that makes for, like uh, utility sort of yeah, uh, yeah. purpose, to kind of like test out stuff. Um, so I'm always like curious to know how certain things translate. So yeah. for maybe those purposes, but I think I get really distracted if I get notification and I want to turn it on on mm -hmm. my smartwatch, and then it's just a huge distraction for yeah. me. So probably not the. So here you're thinking through a countdown for how much time is left before you board mm -hmm. your flight? Okay. Yeah. Are you a get to the airport early kind of person or are you a get there like 30 minutes before your flight? Oh so. dear, uh, I am a last minute mm -hmm. person. I think I hate <laughs> sort of like going to the airport before. Yeah. Um, and just waiting around. Yeah. yeah. Actually, on my way to San Francisco here, I missed my flight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that was not my fault, but. <laughs> um, I kind of just like going to the airport when I'm boarding, so mm. I'd like time right it up. in yeah, such yeah, yeah. a way, yeah. 
live on the edge. <laughs> I used to be more that way, and then I missed a few flights, and um, yeah, that can be my partner is like a get to the airport four hours early kind oh, of person, wow. and so now I've been pushed to the to the early side. Are you like an hour early person or? I usually, for domestic flights, will now try to get there probably an hour and a half beforehand, mm -hmm. depending on where we're flying out of. Um, we live in Oakland, so if we fly out of Oakland, it's pretty easy to get there. Um, but if we're flying out of SFO, just never know how the traffic is gonna be trying to get down to the airport. So just kind of make sure we count for that. Nice. Yeah, I like this more kind of like bold and simple mm -hmm. um, display approach, like really leveraging the kind of limited real estate that you have on the screen. Yeah. Let's see. Do you know any American airline um, numbers? Oh, I think it's just like, I don't know, AA617 or something. Maybe we could throw a lost Easter egg in there. What are the <laughs> lost numbers? Four, eight, 15, 16. Are they three numbers or four? I can't remember. American Airlines flight yeah. numbers? Um, I think it depends. It's unclear. Travel information, flight status. Yeah, it looks like a mix. Some are three, some are four. How do you imagine you get from the countdown to the terminal screen? Do you like tap or? Yeah, so we're gonna go build at the little circles at the bottom so okay. you know how you many can swipe screen. through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and build that. How many do we have? We have four. Perfect. What are you looking for? Oh, the little scroll uh, circles. Mm, got it, got I it. I want to see if they were already built it out, but they do. But I like the circle better. So we'll just go ahead and do the circle. About 15. Oh, I forgot the repeat grid. Kind of looks like a face in the middle <laughs> with the handle. <laughs> oh wait, what? Oh, I uh, never mind. It's not <laughs> it just looked like a face for like a hot second. Oh really? Because uh, of the horizontal handle, Got see it. between there. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cute little guy. Faces. So we have four screens, so we're gonna have four circles mm -hmm. to represent that. Cool. What are the other screens that you have listed in the pre-boarding flow? Um, for this guy here? Mm -hmm. What do we have? So we have booking confirmed, uh, and then I was thinking of adding before boarding, but I'm up for any other ideas if you had. Mm. Uh, what we could kind of like flush out today. I was thinking maybe in flight we can order movies or mm -hmm. food. That would yeah, be a good definitely. one. Uh, and destination is more like, you know, oh, you've arrived at your 
X destination, sort mm-hmm. of like a little, uh, maybe a airplane that shows like the trajectory of the journey. Um, that'll be cool. And then saying, here, arrived, or yay, or maybe if it's a different language, probably welcome that. Yeah. Um, that'll be cool. Cool. Do you have any ideas that we could probably flush out? Yeah, I'm trying to think about my flight experience. And if Mm -hmm. people, you know, tuned in, have other ideas for um, the app and experience itself for for how to, you know, make it a little bit more um, of a full experience, we'd love to hear hear ideas. Uh, I'm trying to think through. I feel like a lot of my tension around flying comes from flying United and having your flight always be delayed and like yeah. not having the confidence that you know or have the most up-to-date information. Um, so I wonder if maybe it's on this sort of like screen here that we're looking at with the countdown time. Mm-hmm. You have the on time indicator. Yeah. Um, I wonder if there's something we should show in terms of like when it was last updated or last refreshed Ooh, to give you that right. um, more confidence that you that you know you have the most updated information. Right. Because um, I think with passbooks sometimes like I look at the boarding pass and it's like on time and it's like last updated three days ago and you're like yeah. okay like that's yeah. not helpful <laughs> for me. Right. <laughs> that's actually cool. So yeah. Let's make a note. something to think about. I can keep an, a note of that, or do you want to put it uh, just on uh, your artboard? I'll put it on an artboard, and then we can circle back. Let's see, about 20. Last update. I like that. Yeah, because that's a lot. Um, I wonder whether it's like a, maybe we should add a little refresh um, icon or something Mm, where they kind of like do that. Yeah. You could think about that. Yeah, or some gesture potentially Mm -hmm. to to do that. Because it's like very small too. Yeah. So. All right, we've got some ideas. Uh, Paul asks, how about, uh, would you like to switch to airplane mode now? Um, that's a, a useful one. Um, you probably do have to turn off your data and stuff on the yeah. watch on the flight, so that's a really good call. Um, Maria suggests baggage pickup info. That's also Ooh, a good call. Yes. Baggage claim is really useful. That'll probably be after you've Yep, in the landed. later flow, yeah. yep. Um, and then Tony suggests uh, maps with GPS so you can see where yeah, you're flying over and sort of the in-flight experience. That'd be cool to sort of like add. Yeah. Oh, Maria also has another great point, which is where to grab transportation once you've arrived, um, especially with Ubers, taxis, rental cars, like yeah. every airport's kind of different. So, um, you know, those in-flight magazines always have like the terminal maps oh, in the yeah. back, which are not helpful for yeah. me because I don't take the time to read that, but that could be something um, we can think about later in the landing experience. These are all really great ideas. Simple directions to your gate. Oh yeah, find, cool. finding the gate. Yeah, that's, that's a good, always, a good one too. I'm always like, where, where yeah, is yeah. the gate? <laughs> like, go past it. That's a great suggestion from Tony. Keep that in mind. Okay, so we're just gonna copy, paste. Cool. I noticed you had one screen, which was like the terminal, and then the other, which is the gate. Mm-hmm. Um, is the reason, could you talk through why you decided to separate those out onto two screens as opposed to putting them together? The terminals and the gate? Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes, you know, you have like so many different terminals going on, mm-hmm. um, and then even within, you know, terminal three has like about 40 gates, and then terminal four has, so you kind of like miss what terminal you're mm. supposed to be going at, mm-hmm. so it's easy, you, you want to kind of like break it down to the finest sort of Got it. Uh, details where you just like don't miss it or there's no confusion um, whatsoever. That makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Um, I have a question from Kevin asking, can we track where your luggage is? Oh, that's an interesting thought. Ooh. Um, track where your luggage is. I kind of feel that's more a customs situation right not customs uh baggage claim oh um 
Yeah, I think for the most part, I guess it depends on how many legs of the trip you have. Yeah. Um, and where your your baggage is, but for the most part, if you're flying direct, I assume it's on the same same flight as you. Um, but potentially, and maybe, hmm. Well, it is always annoying when you're waiting at baggage claim for your bags to come out. So maybe um, Kevin was referring to just sort of knowing. Beforehand. Uh, yeah, like how much that makes longer, sense. potentially. I haven't actually traveled with a check-in bag in a very long time. So oh, yeah. Mostly just been doing the, the carry-on life. Which is faster. You don't have to go through the hassle of mm-hmm. like waiting. Or maybe you could tell you once you've landed, um, ca- with carousel? Yep, yep. That could be a possibility yeah, too. Welcome to everyone who's joined us and tuning in to Adobe Live. Um, you're just in time, getting ready for, for chat and win, so stick around. Um, we got a fun fun little prize coming up. Um, this is Sarah, she's working through uh, a watch, smart watch experience for flight um, check-in and travel. Maria asks, uh, what about weather info for your destination? Ooh, that's a that's good, a good. I actually idea. noticed there's a weather. Oh, widget kind of thing? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that great. That could be cool yeah, yeah. too. We can like flush that out as well. Cool. That'd be cool. Terminal, gate number. Let's see. I don't know, 42D? Um, preferred seat, or is um, you know, are you a window person or an mm. aisle person? I used to be more of a window person because I was really all about the plane instagrams and being able to see where you flew over. Um, but now I think I actually like the aisle a little more, just because, it's especially on longer to... flights, if you have to go out to use the bathroom, you have to like bother less people, and um, so I try to optimize for the aisle. What about you? I actually, uh, it really depends, but I think I'm more, if it's a shorter trip, then Mm -hmm. um, I definitely try to do the aisle Mm -hmm. versus if it's like four hours or more, I try to do the window. Oh, interesting. I think I'm the opposite. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because on the longer flight, I have to account for like my bathroom breaks. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) I don't like bothering people, so. Um. Maybe let's add this. Mm Mm-hmm. That looks pretty cool. Nice. Again, you guys, I'm grabbing these assets from uh, XD Smartwatch UI Kit, so be mm-hmm. sure to download it onto your system. It's absolutely free. Mm-hmm. And you can find a link to that in the challenge tab uh, next to the chat on behance.net slash live. So it's a great resource um, for both you know, more experienced watch designers as well as those who are completely new to it. Um, nice to be able to draw from the existing patterns and things. Yeah, mm-hmm. like repurpose as much as. Oh, looks like it's that time. Chat and win. Woohoo. All right, uh, so today we have some awesome XD socks for our chat and win prize. Um, and while we're seeing who is the lucky person who won these socks, make sure you're uh, chatting away uh, and entering for a chance to win. Um, they feel very plush, um, long, but you know, they got some, some flair and some swag. So. Yeah, and they're soft. Yeah, they're very soft, very soft. I've been trying um, to grab those socks mm-hmm. for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so while we're waiting for the lucky winner to appear, um, I came up with a joke yesterday. Do you want to hear it? Mm-hmm. All right. So I was um, 
playing with my dog and then I came came up with this joke. Why didn't the dog go to Barksmith University this year? Oh God, am I supposed to guess the answer? Yeah, guess, guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, you can also pass if you don't. You I don't pass. All right. <laughs> okay. We have a guess? Paul has huh? an answer. Paul's a guess? Paul's guessing. He didn't? Does that have something to do with pedigree? Oh, that's a good idea, but no, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. <laughs> Paul Close. asked if it had to do with pedigree, which was uh, a good thought, but not quite the answer. So um, it's woofed up? Woofed up. Oh, that's a good one, too. Um, the answer is because the dog deferred. Oh, he furred because he's so furry. Oh. My dog is like a giant hairball, so that's where I uh, <laughs> drew the inspiration from. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. It's a true, true dog mom joke, oh but my you know. Gosh. All right, congrats uh, to Maria Molina. Ooh. You win uh, this pair of XD socks. Congratulations. Thanks to everyone for participating, and better luck tomorrow. Um, someone from Adobe will reach out directly to you um, and coordinate uh, your, your prize. So thank you. All right, congratulations. You never have an opportunity to be in the chat and win if you're on the show, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well. Those socks, I had my <laughs> eyes on those socks for a while. Better luck next time. I know. <laughs> Maria, it's a great win. Mm -hmm. It's a great, great win. Nice, that's looking really good. Yeah, it's coming together. Um, let's see, do we want to add last updated? Let's actually circle. Back to it. Mm -hmm. Something I was thinking about in this sort of like countdown time uh, was our conversation around, you know, how early you get to the airport and things like that. So I mm -hmm. wonder if there's a way we can potentially hook in and send a notification at like a certain threshold for when like you should be on oh, your way to the, to the airport. Yeah, time to leave. Oh. Um, make sure you, or like if you have checked bag, we could account for smarter things. Like if you have checked bags, we tell you to leave a little earlier. Yeah. Um, and yeah, That'd sending cool. you a notification yeah. of that sort. Might be something we can think through Maybe a little it, later. It could be like some sort of like a, uh, what is that called? A notification system like this, right? So yep. you're probably like, oh, it's time to leave. Yep. That's actually cool. We should yeah. build that out too. Cool. Um, what do you think, Katie? I need help here. Uh, right. Do we want to add color to terminal or do we want to add color to the uh, big type? Mm. What, would, what do you think from like a user? Point. It's kind of. I think that having yeah. the main um, text be consistent, like the big bold text, be consistent makes sense. I think. Um, yeah, the red was a little stressful. Yeah. I mean, you know, I love pink, so I'm <laughs> always here, always here for that. Um, be softer. That's not the. I'm trying to think like. what is like really the most valuable. I mean, obviously, knowing the terminal number is a very valuable piece of information, but in terms of, like, I think for me, it's, you know, how do I get to the terminal, yeah. not actually the number yeah. um, itself. Uh, so you're saying you would, from your perspective, you'd want to know where the terminal is and less focus on the number of the terminal? I think so. Mm, interesting. Although, I guess... For the most part, when you're taking a car to the airport or something, like you're just telling them the terminal you need to be dropped off at. Yeah. Um, sometimes when you're transferring, you have to think about like actually navigating there yourself. Yeah. Um, so, eh, I've contradicted myself. <laughs> I like the I like the very simple sort of uh, big number. Let's give this. Ooh. Ooh. 
We have a question from Jeet asking, can we create responsive components in Adobe XD? Uh, it's, uh, I don't, I don't know, but I do know something, but I don't know what <laughs> I can talk about it. Got it. Um, but maybe Michael or Lee on the chat or even Paco can probably talk to it, but yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know whether I'm allowed <laughs> to say. <laughs> Since you know, we should do the since we have yellow and black here. Mm -hmm. Do we want to do yellow and black? I have to change colors for all of this, so let's just <laughs> not. Um, colors in your sort of asses panel here yeah. just to keep that consistent so it's easier to sort of like uh, when you like a particular color and you want it to add it to your library you can just like select the color and then go ahead and add mm. it um, so when you're as you're designing you can you know it's just add all that. you gotta yeah, do yeah. as opposed to like you picking color I mean some people are comfortable with that um, ever since I've discovered the color um, sort of like archive list yeah uh, it's just easier to get it done totally that makes sense. Cool. So we spoke about maybe adding a countdown. Yeah, so that will probably be before, after booking confirmed, and then it's time to go to your airport, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So let's flush that out. Let's get rid of all this. Yeah, I think just like maybe a simple notification or something. Yeah. Just kind of think through what that could look like. All right, so. Maybe it says, um, maybe it goes back to home. Um, so it says maybe 37 minutes until, no, leave now. What would be the right sort of, um, what would we wanna communicate here? Um, let's see, so, I think it could even just be a very simple notification, almost like what you have up here, yeah. just like um, your flight uh, takes off in X minutes and therefore leaves. Soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stressful. Maybe like three hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thirty minutes would definitely give me a heart attack. It's like, ah, I missed a flight. Uh, your flight today leaves in three hours. Um, be sure to leave soon to avoid traffic and mm -hmm. long lines. <laughs> Let's see. Your flight leaves in three hours. Um, Maybe we can cut today and just like, cause the watch screen size is pretty small. Small. Yeah. Uh, cause if we're saying your flight leaves in three hours. It is implied that it's yeah, yeah. 
Your flight leaves in three hours. Um, Maybe this is highlighted or something. Yeah, that's, I think that's a good call. Emphasize that information. Yeah. Um, be sure to leave soon to avoid traveling the wrong lines. Great. Such a thoughtful app. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to... Should we make the purple button the same sort of pink red that we are using in the yeah. color scheme? Or did we want to leave it purple? What do you think? I think we have a lot of colors going on. So yeah. maybe let's just... Simplify. Yeah. Cool. This is from the wireframe kit. Let's mm, see mm -hmm. if we can find make... something a little less intense. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. A little more muted. Yeah. Let's see if we want to add a little. Something else that I feel like would be cool that I don't think we have to design out because I think we have the pattern sort of in this notification, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know if you've ever received like flight delay notifications early in the day enough that then you can actually like plan to leave later. Right. So they give you the information in time. So I could imagine that our notification that we've designed, the one that tells you to leave, um, could also be used for that kind of context. Like oh. if the flight is delayed, um, we could say something like- It accounts like, for that. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, your flight is delayed six hours, like yeah. you don't have to leave for another two or something like that. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. Cool. All right, so I want to quickly prototype this and see. OK, awesome. Um, let's see. So we have close, and then we need back. Yep. Probably need to go back. Um, so let's go. Actually, back for each of these other screens? Yeah, or like maybe swipe. Oh, because you have the swipe. Yeah, so the maybe swipe. it's close, so it's close for, all of them. for all of them. Oops. <laughs> Somebody likes the colors in there. Thank you, <laughs> Glento. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to everyone. Thanks for joining. This is Sarah and I'm Katie. She's uh, working through today's daily creative challenge, which is defi uh, designing a smartwatch experience for flight check-in and travel. Yeah. Um, and for more information, you can visit the challenge tab at behance.net slash live um, and get more information there and uh, read more about the challenge itself and also submit your work if you want a chance for us to review it. So yeah. that's going to be happening. Uh, you still have a little bit of time to get your submissions in. So um, we'd love to love to see your work. So, have you, Katie, mm -hmm. um, played with the prototyping tool at all with XD? Yeah, I have a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, for those of you who don't know, so you there are two on the left hand side corner. You have design and prototype. Design is where you kind of like go lay out all your artboard, which is great, and you go move around things and make it, you know, better. Uh, prototyping is where we start like adding interactions and it's really easy. So we're gonna do a quick prototyping snippet for you guys so to show you how easy it is. So when you're gonna click on a selected artboard, you're gonna have a sort of the you know selected version and you're gonna see a let's see zoom in um, a blue arrow. Mm -hmm. So all you gotta do is click on it and then drag it to whichever artboard you want to transition that to. Right? So in this case we want uh, to go over all of our little um, artboards. So we're gonna do um, terminal, and then we don't want it to dissolve, we want it to swipe. So let's try mm -hmm. slide left, let's slide right, maybe? Yep. Uh, we want it to ease in, and then you can also go ahead and control all of the sort of the duration, duration and the seconds, nice. which is awesome. So let's go ahead and kind of flush that out. Slide right, perfect. And then we're gonna link this to our seat number. Slide right, awesome. 
Yesterday uh -huh. on our stream when you were doing some of the prototyping on the phone, you can plug your phone in and have it sort of live preview on your phone. Do you know if there's a way to do that with the watch? Yeah, so today we actually tested it out um, to kind of see how the smart watch translate in translates into Adobe XD, what happens is that it kind of blows up the size a little. Got it. Um, so it doesn't give you the exact smart watch, um, uh, I guess, like height and width. Got it. OK. Um, it is a bigger version. So in terms of like testing, um, it will be a little um, challenging. But uh, you kind of like get the idea because mm -hmm. it does blow up just a tiny bit. Got it. But that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. So then we're going to do. Let's see, close, maybe dissolve. All right, let's. Cool. So the shortcut is command enter. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Oh, so we probably wanted to do swipe. What did we do? We did uh, right? We probably want left? Yeah, we probably want left. I never know. Kind of look. Which way? <laughs> we can yeah, try I get like a little yeah. disoriented. So we're going to just swipe left. Nice. Perfect. All right, let's try this. Countdown, cool. enter, click on it. Nice. Yep, that feels better. Yeah. We've got a little bit of fun border yeah. happening. We can clean that we up. We can in a clean second. that up. Mm -hmm. But this is to show you guys like how easy and simple it is to get done. And then we're gonna go close, and then it goes back Beautiful. to your homepage. Look at that. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. It took us like literally 30 seconds. Like, yeah. That's perfect. Tim also uh, has given us a pro tip to say that you can copy and paste interactions. So mm. instead of like maybe what we were doing and clicking through all of those, you could just copy and paste them. Interesting. So that's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let's go clean that up. That'll be actually cool if you can copy and paste interaction because it like saves time. Totally, yeah. As well. And usually you probably want to keep the variety of interactions to not be an insane amount. Yeah. <laughs> so as to be disorienting. So I like that. Um, maybe a little. So let's go add on time. Cool. Um, maybe it could just say last updated. I can be really tiny. Yep. I think it can go only as small as 20. Mm, maybe this is a good way of thinking about it. I wonder if maybe it's like on time and then we can just have the text say like as of and then a timestamp or something. Ooh. Interesting. Let's try. Cool. On time. Might not be as. Um, yeah, I think it'll be a clear. lot of. Military time. <laughs> oh wait, I don't. Th oh, maybe we can just keep it yeah, military time, yeah. and so then we don't have to use the PM and save some more valuable real estate. Thirteen hundred. Do you use twenty-four hour time or do you use twelve I hour do time? I do use yeah, twenty-four hour. Me too. Mm -hmm. It's a little it. long and chunky, huh? Yeah. So maybe let's see if we can. Try a different. Do you guys have any solutioning? You guys help <laughs> us out. Mm. Maybe it's just like as simple as like a refresh button, maybe. Mm -hmm. So like a little icon or something. Yeah. Because also the touch targets are small, so mm -hmm. and. See if they have uh, refreshing assets in there. Some sort of arrow, maybe, maybe not. Hmm, maybe not. So mm -hmm. let's just like grab this guy here. That's okay. the closest. Yep. Oh yeah, just that yeah. icon itself. Yeah. Yeah. 
since we already have kind of a big circle element. Yeah. And we can pretend it's like a refresh <laughs> button. <laughs> Use a little imagination. Yeah. I like it. So that can be. coming together. Yeah, it's looking really good. All right. Um, let's see. We want to do maybe in-flight experience. So cool. what do we want to do? We want to order food? Order... Mm. We'll I think see. some of the suggestions we had in uh, the chat earlier were um, like GPS so you can see where you're flying over. Yeah. Um, Food, potentially movies. Um, movies. What else on There's in-flight experience? Um, uh, weather. Somebody's oh yeah, the weather at the destination. That could be cool. That's kind of. Is that something you need internet access for? For the weather? Uh, probably. Uh, but all in-flights sort of have like their free Wi-Fi thing. Yeah. Um, so that could be that. Oh, we have a say Wi-Fi disconnect sort of ability. Cool. Uh, maybe it can also be, what if, if you wanted to watch the TV, I mean, watch TV, and then it could probably, you can control it with, via your smartwatch. Oh, yeah. So that could be cool, too. Especially if the person next to you has their arms yeah. on the, the seat controls. I know. I like that. So maybe let's, like, grab some basic controls. Yeah. Um, Duty free is a suggestion from Kevin. Rafael suggests that by food we maybe mean drinks. <laughs> <laughs> um, both, both can be true. Um, yeah, I like the idea of having a sort of remote control functionality. Yeah, let's try that. Um, so we probably have play, we have a stop, and then maybe we want to pause. So let's kind of like borrow certain things here mm -hmm. and build it out. I think another thing we might want to think about also is volume control, potentially. Oh, yes. Um, That's true. Yep. So maybe we can build out a little. All right. So what do we call this? We call this in flight. Um, TV mm -hmm. viewing. Awesome. I mean, TV controls. Perfect. So let's see if we can borrow certain things here. Cool. So I actually have a couple of assets in the OpenCC library. So let's go oh, awesome. play with that. So all you got to do is that you can go to stock.adobe.com and then you can um, sort of go through all of the imagery that you want to mm -hmm. and then you can add it to, it's very simple, you can add it to your libraries okay, cool. uh, and it automatically updates your libraries, so which is great. Awesome. Um, all you gotta do is drag and drop. Oh, another trick is that if you want it to fit to size, kind of like go over and draw a shape mm. over your artboard. Um, so when we, actually let me clean that up a little bit. Perfect. Um, so when we drag and drop, it's gonna auto fit oh, okay. it there. Awesome. So that's perfect. That's great. Let me make it darker. <laughs> so let's grab that paste it in here. So it gives you kind of like a blurry background mm, effect. Nice. Um, let's go add some time in. We're about coming up on our uh, one hour mark left in the stream, which means we're gonna start reviewing uh, some design submissions in the next half an hour. So you still have a little bit of time left to get your, your challenges in um, and get some awesome feedback from uh, Sarah on your, your own designs. So check out the challenge tab uh, on behance.net slash live for more info um, and show us your work. We're really excited to see, um, especially if you're sitting on some better ideas as you're watching us work through yeah. <laughs> uh, some, some control buttons. So you have a little color. Mm, you can see it, yeah. it come through a little bit more. <clears throat> Perfect. So maybe let's grab that asset. So 
that's a symbol. Ungroup mm -hmm. symbol. Oh, actually, ungroup sing. And then group it. There we go. Mm -hmm. So we want it to play. Mm -hmm. And then we probably want it to stop. Yep. Ungroup sing. Does the watch have, it has that little knob thing. So is that how you normally control the volume? Oh, the little ticker? Yeah, I have no idea what it's Actually, called. Actually, I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure either. Yeah. Um, Let us know, chat, how do, how do, how, <laughs> how do watches even work? Yeah, how do, how do they work? Right. Um, Adriano suggests that we may receive information while we're in the, like flying with security information um, and some other things like that. Um, it's called a digital crown. Oh, says okay. Lillian. Thank okay. you, Lillian. Right. <laughs> nice. Thank you. We're just out here making up. Yeah, making up, making words. up just like <laughs> words as we go. Apple Watch. Let's see. Let me receive info out. It's a good suggestion, Adriano. Yeah. Bottom, mm -hmm. so we have a little more. Do you read like the in flight magazines and stuff when you fly? No. No. Do you? I do. It's like my guilty pleasure. <laughs> it's amazing that the minute I get on to the plane, I kind of feel um, a little sleepy mm -hmm. and I'm like past out. Just out. Yeah. yeah. Just That's out. the best way to make time. Pass on a flight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love looking through the Sky Mall brochures too, just for all, all the right. like ridiculous like popcorn makers or oh, yeah. um, Laffy Taffy machines or things that I would never actually buy, but just fun to kind of pretend. <laughs> yeah. Let's add some details. Have you ever shopped in the duty free on the airplane before? Yeah, a couple times. Just buying some perfume and nice things, I think. Um, mostly with my with my mom. What about you? Not really, actually. No. no. So we want to add in. Maybe there can be a, um, um, cause like every monitor has a, you know, uh, assuming they have a smartwatch, yep. we don't want to control, like I would not want to control your, um, your TV. Mm. So maybe a way is that you get little, um, maybe a QR code, or a syncing sort of like the, you know, that you get Oh, to pair it to yeah, like your Okay. So maybe we could build yeah. that one out. How 
Does the watch have a camera? How do you get a QR code on the watch? Uh, the watch does not have a camera, but the QR code is like, you know, once you check in or something of that sort, they send you the QR code. Okay. Yeah. And so is then how does that match to the TV though? Oh no, so I'm trying to think like if there is a way to maybe turn on something on the TV or maybe the TV has a code itself. Got it, okay. Um, and then we just like type the number in. Oh, and got it, got it, sync okay. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. we could try that. And it's like, how do we, yeah. Cause it probably doesn't have a camera. Yeah. yeah. There are those like credit card, like sensorless things that you just like tap and then they like pay sometimes, you know? I wonder if there's a way. Oh, maybe so maybe like the you device just, like, hold is attached your watch to... Next to it and then it's like beep, beep, beep. And oh. then it like pairs. So Matthias's watch. Yeah, it has Bluetooth. Got Bluetooth. So you could potentially Pair, use like, that. Yeah, Bluetooth. Like turn on your Bluetooth and that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. So let's. Iteration. <laughs> Iterations. I'm just going to move this to the bottom. Uh, NFC is the name of that credit card function. Learning so much. Thank you, Matthias. <laughs> NFC. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's actually go add all these guys to the library. Get a play button. Leave it. Oh, do you already have that one? Cool. So in this one, what would we want to do? So assuming that we've turned on our Bluetooth, um, we probably want to have sync, maybe some sort of like a CTA saying sync and then, then see the, um, what is that called? The codes. That could be it. Sure. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah, I think the pattern I've seen is like you click pair and then there's like for like numbers on the screen uh -huh. or something and then you yeah. just enter those. Um, or it could be by seat number, so you know which one to enter is yours, potentially. Yeah. Pairing. Your monitor, your TV is what it's called, mm -hmm. TV. Raphael asks in the chat, are there iOS guidelines for the smartwatch? Uh, there should be. Let's see. Watch guidelines, let's see here. Pair device. So it looks like if you Google just like watch OS design themes, Apple has um, some resources around that for, for their guidelines, I think, around the smartwatch. Got um, it. But a lot of it, you know, as Sarah mentioned, we're pulling from the smartwatch uh, UI kit as sort of a starting point. Let's see if we can borrow this guy here. So maybe you click pair device and then you see little uh, pairing uh, motion graphic mm -hmm. and then you get your numbers. Maybe that could be cool. a way to yep. go down. I like it. So let's write.
<clears throat> Welcome, Darren. You do not miss most of the stream. We're still here. We're working. We're hanging out. I'm Katie. This is Sarah. And we're working Hi, through uh, today's uh, daily creative challenge um, around creating a smartwatch experience for um, flight check-in and travel. Um, and you're, you're just in time. We're still we're thinking through the in-flight experience and uh, pairing uh, your TV monitor and thinking about how the watch um, experience and app can um, help uh, make that process easier for users. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I see in a question from Dorina, is it better to add all the XD mm -hmm. challenges in one post on Behance and make a single post for each of them? Uh, we suggest that, you know, it, it would be nice to kind of uh, have all of your challenges in like one project. So when you are creating a project, make sure you have XD Daily Creative Challenge in there and then upload all of your challenges as like a part of one thing. Mm -hmm. um, but if you feel comfortable, if you want to have it as separate project, go ahead and do that as well. But also make sure to kind of like update it into one project so we can go ahead and kind of like look at it. Um, and it's easier for us to sort of like, you know, look at all different uh, projects under mm -hmm. one little module. So yeah, be definitely. sure to do that, Darina. Yeah. And we're gonna be reviewing um, some of the contest submissions uh, in about 20-ish minutes. So you still have a little bit of time left to submit uh, your challenge. Um, so send us your work and we're really excited to see what you guys come up with. Um, there's a tab for daily challenge um, above the chat, next to the chat, um, and that'll have all the information where you can submit. Awesome. So maybe, let's say hold tight. Nice. Maybe hold on tight. You were saying that um, you wanted to use the number approach for the pairing with the TV monitor? Yeah, okay. maybe. Um, so once you pair your device, and once your Bluetooth is turned on, you pair a device, and then you go through this little, um, you know, a loading situation, mm -hmm. and then uh, the number appears on your monitor, and that's where you think. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna probably try to type the numbers that you see on your monitor on your Apple Watch, maybe. Mm. Or it could be, I think that would be probably the way to go. Or okay. unless, yeah. Do you have suggestions? I'm just thinking through, I have i don't own one, so I'm just Me making too. this all up as I go. Yeah. Um, which is fun to think through. So uh, we'd love, you know, some feedback in terms of weighing in. But can you type on the watch? I think you can. There is a keyboard? Okay. Yeah. Um, I believe you can. Chat, help us out here. Uh, <laughs> both of us don't own smartwatches, so we're trying to figure this out along with you guys, but uh, I believe so. I remember talking to my friend about, oh, can you type? And he mentioned that you can type on the smartwatch. Um, and you like can also do voice control, I think. Yeah, you can do voice control, yeah. which requires, I think, the internet. So I know that like for messages that comes with like a preset, like list of replies, um, yeah. Lillian suggests that you can type on the watch through Scribble. Okay, so it's like writing. Okay. Okay, yeah, because I don't think it's like an actual keyboard, or at least in the last watch that I played with, which yeah. is a while ago, so I could also be wrong and outdated. Um, okay, so here, this is like handwritten message. Got it. Um, oh, you so have the Scribble? Is that the Scribble? That's the Scribble, yep, I believe. Um, and you can like do stickers or, and the, these are the preset. Um, a reply to message. Oh, things. I see. So, hmm. yes, but I, I feel like I don't know. Just thinking about it from a user perspective, having to draw in numbers, yeah, kind of maybe is yeah. too much, yeah. too tedious. Um, I wonder what else, how else we can problem solve this. Maybe it is us trying to. You know how in the olden luggages you have like a little ticker, so you're like three and four, maybe that could be a way that we can add it in. You know what I'm talking about? I don't. 
So it's like a list of numbers. So one through ten, one through ten. You have like these little codes. Oh, oh, oh! Like I see. Yeah, yeah, adjust yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I wonder actually if it's like um, maybe we use the seat number. So you can choose like number, numbers, and then letter, and then pick your seat number, and then it matches your TV based on that. Oh, so you choose your seat number. Maybe That's is one idea. idea. One yeah. bad idea. You could cool. also scribble and write out letters. Like you said, there's also voice control, but you can talk or text or yeah. you can scribble to write out letters. I feel like having everyone like talk to their watch on the plane yeah. might be a little weird. It's like but hey, could be good. What's going um, on? Yeah. <laughs> All in it together, you know. <laughs> Just like, hey watch, please pair my TV. Yeah, it's um, like it's like what's that does feel very futuristic, so yeah. I like that. But yeah, you know, this is a flushing out of concept. So a kid you know, yeah, the possibilities yeah. are endless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but maybe what we could do is that we can um, we can have a speaker symbol. So once it's going through a loading pair, you see a speaker symbol. Okay. And then we heard you guys say that you can talk to talk into your watch or yeah. talk to your watch. Um, so you can click on it and then you can just say the code. And then next step is pair. Okay. So maybe that's an easier sure. like problem that. solving situation. Futuristic. Yeah. See if there are any speak. Oh, perfect. Nice. Lillian suggests that maybe your seat number comes with a code that's connected to the TV in that seat. Hmm. I think that's in line with what you were describing too, yeah. right? Where like the code on the TV comes up. Yeah. It's a great idea. We're on it. We're trying to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for weighing in. I like the options. Um, so. Do you use voice or like Siri stuff on your phone at all? Not really, no? actually. Yeah. Do you? I don't. Uh, one of, well, except when I'm in the car and I use CarPlay and then you really just have to talk because mm. it doesn't let you because of, you know, Safety. Stuff. I feel like Siri is <laughs> always sassy with me. Mm. Just like she's a little sassy sometimes. Yeah. It's like, what did Have you, you say? asked her how to divide by zero? Oh, and then she goes, "Is that the infinite?" No, I don't That's think That's like so. the cookie one. Oh Have no. Have you heard that one? No. All right. Should we hear it? All right. Now? Let's see. Gotta hear um, this, guys. What is ten divided by zero? Did you accidentally summon me? Oh. Wow, she does not want to play games She's today. She's like, it's huh? Wednesday. I'm not playing um, any games. What is one divided by zero? The answer is somewhere between infinity, negative hmm. infinity, and undefined. That's not the one I was thinking She's of. just being sassy She's today. Very sassy. She's like, I'm not going to answer you, Katie. Just make your <laughs> Wednesday a little harsh. Um, do, do, do. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's try this. What is zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? C. It doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster <laughs> is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like at me, Siri, right? Oh, in the, Siri. In the heart. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Corey. Uh, keeping zero it divided real. by zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a great one. So oh, yeah, no, I we don't we don't have a great relationship, but we're working through it, you know. You have no friends. Like, <laughs> you have no thanks, friends. Thanks, Siri. <laughs> I want you to be harsh there. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like that sort of speaker effect. Yeah, mm -hmm. and maybe it could uh, like pulsate. pulse while you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love that. So maybe you've spoken into, you've yep. said the code, and then maybe the last thing that we see is that your device is paired. Yep. Yeah. Some okay. like confirmation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like maybe that. like a fun state. Yep. Have you ever asked Cedar to tell you a joke? 
Yeah, a few times. And Alexa, that's and like Alexa. all I use her for, really. Oh, Alexa. Is Jokes in the weather. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I came up with another dog mom joke. Yes, we want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the new dad joke, dog mom joke. Um, all right. What? This is inspired after your der derp, right? Derp? Yes, yeah, derp. Uh, yeah. Dirk. Yeah, derp. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So my my partner and I adopted a German Shepherd Husky mix recently, and. He's a big, a big derp, and so I just spend all my time thinking about dog jokes now. Um, all right, so what uh, is the most annoying thing about watching Netflix with a dog? Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> he always hits pause. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pain in your laugh, really, just you and Siri. Um, cutting me deep. Oh. Um, all right. So can I go ahead and um, let's see. Looking for a confirmation type yeah, thing. Yeah, like a fun, what, would you, what do you think would you want to see when it's a successful confirmation? I would love like the celebration emoji, but we don't want to use that now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe a heart? That's a little too. Is there some like uh, like Wi-Fi connection type? Uh, hmm. We don't no. have any. We have this symbol. Yeah, that's but that's pretty. That makes no sense actually. Uh, I wonder if it's just like a check mark or something, yeah. and maybe like maybe has a, a circle component around it. Green. Yeah, 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 that could work. Mm -hmm. So let's borrow search cool. here real quick. This guy. <clears throat> Perfect. So we could just like modify this yes, one. Love it. So copy paste and then Kitty gave us a great suggestion to add a check mark. So let's kind of go update it. Nice. All right, we have Corey in the chat asking, um, they're newly interested in UI design. Uh, would you say that Adobe XD is pretty intuitive? Yeah, so it's, um, I did actually see that comment, so I was gonna reply. Um, it's very intuitive, it's, the learning curve is, is very, um, I guess like it's easy. Mm -hmm. So all you gotta do is like download, and especially if you're familiar with ph Photoshop or Illustrator or any of other, other Adobe softwares, it's very easy because you know all the controls, you know all of, uh, you know, where your tool sets are. So it's very similar and in line. Got it. Um, but also even if you're not, you know, an Adobe user, XD has made it so simple uh, to kind of like go and build out screens. Um, you know, they have like very, actually, let's zoom in here. Mm -hmm. uh, they have like, you know, shapes and lit, um, stuff uh, on the side yep. um, lined up. So it's like you trying to just build shapes, build artwork, put them together. It's as simple as that. So you don't have mm -hmm. to be super, an expert. you yeah. don't know. It, it's catered to an audience where, you know, you could be a pro, you can be a beginner. Um, and the learning is very, very simple. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's great. Yeah. And, um, you know, when I was learning XD just a couple weeks ago, it was the first time that I really got a chance to play with it. And if you download um, the application, it has a tutorial that's built in that is mm -hmm. really helpful and just kind of walking through the top level basics. Um, and you can get up and running in like 10 minutes, probably. Um, so it's pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, we got about 10 minutes left for our challenge submission deadline. So mm -hmm. if you have any work that you want us to review and give feedback on, um, be sure to get that in. Um, we're, we're coming up soon. We're gonna start, uh, start taking a look at those uh, in a little bit. So get at us. All right, I got one more dog mom joke, then I'm out. <laughs> Keep it coming. All right. uh, and then I have a few more dad jokes, but. Um, oh, dad jokes, yes. Dad jo yeah, it's my specialty. Um, all right, why did the dog go sit by himself on the top of the mountain? 
I'm just gonna keep saying I don't know. All right. Maybe Gus has a... The, Gus, do you have a guess? Anyone in the chat have a guess? Why did the dog yeah. go sit by himself at the top of the mountain? Because he wanted to pause. <laughs> <laughs> We have a, a, Gus suggested he had a rough day. I like that. Not the answer I was looking for, but I will accept it anyway. Um, I don't know, his friends just describe him as a woof. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm out, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Um, don't quit my day job. Good job, Katie. <laughs> uh, sorry, you have to put up with me. No, sorry. <laughs> I was just waiting for the dad job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Darren got it. He was a woof. Yes. Nice Good job. job on Darren. the same wave. On the same wave. Do you come up with these jokes or do you read them every <laughs> Um yeah, just a couple days ago. I don't know. I was in like a joke writing mood. Um Nice. And one uh, of many Katie's talents. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're not they're not great jokes, so uh, but they're they're fun to come up with every now and then. Um, okay, Tim, I see you. Know how late it is? It's time to stop with the dad jokes. They're oh, dog Tim. mom jokes, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I appreciate all feedback, constructive as well as positive. So, um, cool. I like that little shadow to kind of make it pop mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. You have <clears throat> been... Fully paired your toys. You can watch unlimited movies on uh you, you can watch unlimited movies throughout your journey. Does that make sense? Your, your flight? Your flight. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sounds great. Nice. We probably need a CTA to go back. Um, maybe done would be a good one. Sure. Yeah. Is there any pattern on the watch that like is, uh, you know how on iOS there's like the badges, I think is what they're called. So they disappear after a certain time. So. Oh, on the. Like when it comes down on the top yeah, and you yeah, can yeah. like swipe, it, swipe away. it away. Or, and then if you don't touch it after like five seconds, it disappears. I don't know if that's a similar pattern that exists on the watch, but potentially. Although the screen like chopped Yeah, yeah. Um, but this one looks like they have a button here. So yeah. maybe we should just stick with that. Um, and then maybe we want to update the Wi-Fi thing too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like TV or something. Yeah. TV compared. Let's see. Uh, I think we have time to build one more. Cool. Um, do we want to do a music situation or a food? Um, mm. Maybe you want to order in flight. Um, yeah, let's do food and drink. Food. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just grab these guys. Here. Oh, we got a joke in the chat. Jan asks, why did Adobe Live cross the road? Oh. Holding us to get the parking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, jury's still out, but we'll we'll come back to you once we have an answer for the <laughs> for that joke. Nice. 
food ordering. <clears throat> Perfect. Great. Um, let's see. Do we wanna eat fresh? Menu. Um order now. And then mm -hmm. you can go ahead and see reviews, order confirmed. Uh do we want it? This is a really good starting point. Yeah. The I immediate think we thoughts it out. Yeah. That jump out to me are like the wait time doesn't really make sense, I think, in the playing context. Exactly. Um, as much. Yeah. And I think the reviews are also uh, yeah, not that important. At all. Yeah. You have so some pretty limited like, options. Yeah, on so the, you could probably um, you know, uh, what kind of food you want and yep. then a list of that food yep. type. Uh, and then click and then order. Sounds good. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, and then do we need to think about uh, incorporating Apple Pay as any part of this or? Mm, we could probably try to figure out how Apple to pay. Or some uh, payment some mechanism payment. maybe. I wonder, cause like it's a manual system on, on the flight, right? When you order food and drinks, you give your card and they have a little device. Yeah, some flights do it like in the TV, like Virgin America. Right. Or sorry, RIP, Alaska. Yeah. Um, you could just do it on the TV screen itself, so it's all self-serve. Um, so I think if we think about in our future Bluetooth talk to your phone world, yeah, um, I think there's a way we could, if we have time, like think through maybe some of the yeah. payment flow on the watch. And I could just use a card that you maybe already have stored or something. Yeah, we could do that on too. the watch. Yeah. Um, hmm. We could also, or for people who don't have the watch or don't have any payment info on their watch. Um, that would kind of be hard, unless then, like, there's like, you could load it on your mobile, but like, mm. it's different sort of like, so when you download an app, um, and then you have that same app on your watch, yeah. it's different experiences, yep. Um, yep. I'd assume. There's certain information available on a smartwatch versus all of the information is available on your phone. Yep. So it's like selective. Yeah. Um, so maybe like payment is something that is um, on your phone. You do it on your phone and then you just, it's as easy as like pay now or mm. um, check your phone or update your phone to add payment method. That's sure. That's a one too. Yeah. yeah. I was also thinking that if you don't pay on the watch, it could just be like on the flight back end, then they know you haven't paid. And then when they bring you your food, they just like make you pay with a credit card. Oh, Potentially or something. But that's less cool. So <laughs> I like your yeah. idea better. <laughs> uh, we want to keep it also as simple as possible. Yeah. So maybe you go through your menu, you select you want pizza, you go through a list of pizzas, and then you select the pizza that you want. And then um, do we want to just order Type your seat number, or it probably mm. knows what seat number. Oh, I've, yeah, that's if, a great question. Yeah. Um, so I wonder, it just says, are you in seat number 23A? Because you've already paired, technically, your, you know, talking it through it, you've already paired your TV. TV yep. So it already knows. Yep. Some sort of like a back end system. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's assuming you do the TV thing before you order food, but let's assume that in this yeah. world. Um, Darren has a suggestion um, that your phone can maybe scan a QR code in your watch or your, oh, I like that. Creates a QR code for the cashier to scan on your watch. Ooh, so, so maybe when, create yeah. QR code. That's awesome, great. I love Darren. that. Um, That's so awesome. Then we click the menu, we select pizza, generate QR code. Yep. And then they come and I guess like order confirm, generate QR code. Yeah, that would yeah. probably be it. All right. Um, so we have, I think we're around where we should start reviewing some yeah. of the challenge submissions. So we're gonna take a little detour from our uh, flows and go look at uh, some of the challenge submissions. So if you wanna switch over to my laptop, I have them up here. Um, the first one is from Adrian Mendez. Um, nice. So I'm gonna just zoom in here and then kind of tap through the, um, screens that he has, and then um, Sarah, just feel free to kind of weigh in and, and yeah. give feedback as we go. Um, cool, I like these colors. Oh, check blue American Airlines, mm -hmm. Alaska Southwest. Cool, flight is expired. Okay, so one upcoming. Check-in. Adrian's check-in. Okay, 
So you think this is like input or oh this would just be showing the Yeah, okay, I yep, guess that yeah. Makes sense. Um passenger daily challenge. Um date check in now. I wonder um yeah, what do you think? Adrian, can I know, if you're on chat, can I know what type size um, you're using for fright, flight, date, and class? Just want to make sure. Um, I feel like anything below 20 uh, kind of like then becomes a little strain on the eyes. Um, mm -hmm. But it looks great, though. Yeah. Um, what is the, what does the bottom say? This here? It says, in 17 days. Okay. Yeah. So maybe like we could um, color contrast that a little bit because mm -hmm. it's it's getting lost with the purple. So maybe mm, yeah, like yeah. it's the green that you adopt or something. Twelve. Yeah. I think twelve might be a little too small though, Adrian. But yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. But it's good so then though. a similar kind of um, carousel type yeah. thing that we had in one of our earlier designs. Check bags. Oh, that's cool. You could go and add like how many of our bags. Yeah. These like illustrations speak. are great. Did you yeah. make that, Adrian? They're so cool. <laughs> I like the gradients and colors, yeah. too. Um, flight itinerary. Jeff Gate to LAX. Yep. Gate 5, Terminal 5. Yeah. So what I like about this, as opposed to... I think we had a lot of the similar information in thinking yeah. through one and separated it out. I think one of maybe the benefits of having it on one screen is that you can sort of easily at a glance get all that information. Yeah. But I think also to your point, potentially about type size, like it might be a little harder to read yeah. on the watch. Um, but I like where the head's at. Yeah. Um, cool, I think that's it. Yeah. Awesome. Are, oh wait, what is, oh. This is next I was just project, like, oh, yeah, you're like, oh, what's that? <laughs> um, do you have any uh, like final thoughts or next step suggestions for Adrian? Yeah, so um, definitely type size to pay attention to type size. Uh, we did go over this morning of like trying to figure out like what is the standard because um, anything below a certain point becomes I think like 20, 22 is a good cap to be at. Um, or 14, Michael says. Um, but uh, to be a little mindful of it, and if you have like a smartwatch, you can test it out um, to kind of see how that is also. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is that you don't want to strain your eyes, right? Because they're tiny. Yeah. Um, so, and I really like the color um, a lot, but uh, we should also be cognizant of like, you know, darker background and on a smaller device reads better on mm -hmm. uh, daylight versus night as well. So in both situations. So yeah. to be, um, also be thinking about like, you know, uh, daylight versus night and how to, how big your screen is, how small your screen is, and then type sizes as well. Cool. It'll be cool to sort of see Adrian, uh, you prototyping, maybe like quick prototyping and, um, kind of like seeing all of that put together. So that'll be cool. fun. Next yeah. steps will probably be for Adrian to do prototype. Cool, that sounds great. All right, our next one is um, from Anel Henning. Oh, Anel, yes. <clears throat> oh, let me see here. Okay, so. Oh, maybe am I on the To so the bottom? bottom. Just scroll down. Okay, money and then uh, here. All right, cool. Okay, so home screen. Ooh. Um, flight. Okay, choose your journey. Got it. I like the back, the um, the background. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the image backgrounds. Um, American Airlines. Yep. Cosmo. Continental. Cool. Seven. Is this seven hours or minutes? That's a question I have. Um, I think it's just Probably like, hours. yeah, seven, seven hours. Mm -hmm. We should specify that. I think in my mock, I have that, um, okay. but I have to go update that. But yeah, this is really great. American apps. Airlines yep. flight. And I think that's it. Oh, nice. Cool. I kind of like it. Very simple. Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. simple, very clean. Mm -hmm. Um, Anel. Oh, thank you, Anel. <laughs> <laughs> Hours, got um, it. Okay, cool. But yeah. Do you have any suggestions for uh, no. next steps? Uh, next step would probably be just like, you know, uh, it would be um, great to sort of like see a prototype version of this. Uh, also flush out end to end. So like, mm -hmm. you know, you go through the entire process of like clicking on American for instance, American Airlines, what does that screen look like? Mm -hmm. um, what is the first um, 
you know, sort of like system? Is it like details or is it a list of flights that you had, like archive uh, flights? Mm-hmm. Um, that would be cool as well to see. But yep. then, and I was like, uh, in prototype stages, yeah, yeah really totally. good. Um, and also to be mindful of like, um, if you go back to the previous screen. This one? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like be a little more mindful of like text size and how that translates. Um, we also want to be sure of like consistencies going on. So, and then make sure it's not too over, like at the edge mm-hmm. of it. Um, but yeah, it's really great. Awesome. Cool. And then the last one we have is from uh, Kiara. Ooh, fl- flying. Nice. Oh, look at Ooh, that. Oh, hey. All right. I, can I click on one of these? Paris, it seems. Okay. Ooh, nice. nice. It's very clean. On time, due to traffic conditions. Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Leave in 20 minutes. And then you click down. Oh. Oh, oh, nice. oh that's I love pretty the little cool. Yeah. Icon. Good thinking. And I like how she's also incorporated the weather, weather um, in the top left. Cool. Wait, uh, so it's 44, 41 minutes to fly time? 41 minutes left? 41 minutes. Until... Yeah, it's 40? unclear what this is counting down towards, potentially. So yeah. maybe there's a little more detail that could be added there. Um, yeah. Maybe it's like 41 minutes. Oops. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's 41 minutes until boarding. boarding. Okay, would that would make sense. Yeah. And then maybe like having flight number, gate number... Uh, which airline? I mean, you probably know what airline, but having a little more reference. I think she has that yeah. here. And like when you first tap this, it takes you to the ticket kind of thing. So you have your yeah. flight number. Oh, got it. And then you're flying from TXL Tech. to Charles de Gaulle, and then gate. Gate B052. Mm-hmm. Ah. Click on QR. Okay. Ooh, oh, okay. cool. And then you can just like put this on to like board. Yeah. That's great. I love that. I that. Um, yeah, I really like it. The only thing is that, uh, if we go back, yep. where, yeah, like how the red on top, on top of, or, you know, on top of uh, the purple mm-hmm. kind of is a little strain to your eyes. Mm, I see. So, you know, kind of like thinking about color, how they translate on another color and overlay yep. will be also uh, cool. But cool. yeah, good yeah. job. Awesome. Um, very cool. Do you have any last thoughts or feedback? Uh, or? No, but this okay. is like really good start for a lot of it. It's pretty, yeah. I love how like people are like incorporating imagery mm-hmm. in there. Uh, maybe for this one, probably nice now, like from Prague, am I going to a destination or is it more information about pro- like right mm. now we just see flights, Prague, but it doesn't necessarily give you end destination. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. So just like little clarity. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Along that one. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you all for submitting your work. Um, and we hope the feedback was valuable and helpful. Um, and keep it up. This yeah. Great. Good job, you guys. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Um, should we jump back to Sarah and you want to oh. finish out? Um, yes. Wh- where were we? I don't even remember. Yeah. I, I, we were talking. <laughs> got distracted. Oh, so we were at Menu. Oh, yeah, yes, the food. So we decided that we would go through a list of food types, select what food you want, and then um, order confirmed, and then we were going to have a QR code. Okay, yep. Somebody suggested a QR mm-hmm, code, mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to do yep. that. Cool. Maybe let's... My QR code so I don't forget. Mm-hmm. Another great pizza. Um, Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Mm-hmm. Yes. Making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. 
classic? Is there Hawaiian classic? Sure. Hawaiian. <laughs> or Hawaiian special, maybe, special. instead of classic. Yeah. Mix it up a little bit. Let's give this five stars. <laughs> Are you a fan of Hawaiian pizza? Do you like pineapple on your pizza? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I've never got... The taste has never grown on me. Mm. Um, it's interesting. But are you a big fan of... Uh, I actually don't do dairy, so I don't eat a lot of pizza anymore. Got it. Yeah. But when I did eat pizza, I always kind of opted for the pepperoni. Mm. Mm. Um, Anel asks in the chat, how do you fill a box in white and size down an image? How do you fill a, a, fill a box, box in white and down. size down an image? Anel, oh, I think she's talking about, Anel, are you talking about the drag and drop from the libraries? Um, are you talking about the resizing that it fits? Um, or are we talking about creating a mask? Mm. Um, no, it's a great question. It just yeah, I think we just wanted a little more context yeah, to make more. sure we're answering it correctly. Yeah, but so if you, you yeah throw in a little more information in the chat, we'll we'll come back. Yeah, come back to that. So the cool thing you were showing me yesterday was that. Um, you could, in the prototype for mm -hmm. uh, overflow screens, you can make it scroll. So is that yeah. something you're also planning to do with this yeah. watch face? Okay, cool. But in this case, it probably would, um, there would be nothing, the only thing that would probably be standard is that, not standard, sticky, is that the menu? The me yeah, yeah, the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, status bar. Status bar, so actually. Let's go ahead and create a little. prototype real quick cool. um let's see what we can edit do better so command enters the code you can't I'm doing something wrong here mm. let's extend that a little bit let's copy paste this for now Hawaiian spelled wrong. <laughs> Go back to prototype here, and then come and enter. Ooh, maybe not. I'm probably doing something wrong here. Hmm. Well, I remember from yesterday there was some. There's like a dotted line that's supposed yeah, to show. Yeah, the reference line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. Let me 
just finish this generating mm -hmm. a QR code. Okay, I think mm -hmm. if you click this artboard that we want to scroll, scrolling none, so say vertical, and then um, do you see uh, a line on it now? Like the dotted line? Um, if you click the artboard menu, and then, so viewport height, I think you want to maybe Make it, I don't know, 200 or something. Just make that up. So now we see oh, this, and then you can drag that, that, I think. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Thank you, Axel. Scrolling right side. <laughs> Perfect. We got there. Yeah, so now it works. So it's command, enter. Um... Well, that's fun. So we now we want to have our menu sticky. So let's go and fix position on the right side. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Click on the artboard, command mm -hmm. enter shortcut, and there you oh, go. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, that's great. Woohoo! Pro watch app. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Futuristic. Uh, um, Darren asks in the chat, are you using the smartwatch, smartwatch UI kit with no changes to the design for these screens? Um, yes, roughly, right? We, we grabbed these from the UI kit. Yeah, some mm -hmm. of it is from the UI kit and then we modified it mm -hmm. um, a lot to cater to what we're trying to build out here. Yep. Um, so. And at what point do you start to add your own like aesthetic and um, to the design. I think for for the for the sake of this, it's uh, you know for time. I've been trying to borrow, but usually it, it would you'd have to figure out your brand identity, um, like I mentioned before, uh, and then you know photo styles and all of that laid out. So it's mm -hmm. like a little bit of a branding uh, thing, and then color palette um, as well. So it, they don't look off brand and dramatically disconnected. Yep. Uh, but for sake of today's exercise, we've, uh, wanted to show you guys the wireframes, uh, that is available, uh, to download, um, and you can use it offline as well. So for that, we're trying to borrow stuff from the wireframe kit and then also show you guys that, you know, you can modify certain modules to cater to what you guys are trying to design. Cool. That's awesome. Cool. So let me go and make sure we got a pepperoni pizza in here. <laughs> Food is making me really <laughs> hungry. Yeah. And then mask with shape. Oh, nice. Perfect. Looks delicious. <laughs> All right. Well, we're coming up uh, towards the end of our stream time for today, but um, we have a great lineup for you next. Andrea will be on um, this uh, Adobe Live next, so make sure you stick around for her segment and her awesome work. Um, you know, today you got a chance to see Sarah go through um, a, a daily challenge for designing a smartwatch um, app um, for a flight experience. Um, 
and kind of go through a bunch of different flows and some yeah. prototypes. Oh. oh, yep, yep. Yeah. We got Andrea next, uh, hosted by Erica. So yeah, stick around for that. That'll be a really great yeah. session. Um, and then we'll be back tomorrow at the same time, uh, 11 a.m. Pacific. And uh, do you want to give viewers like a sneak peek of what you think we'll be going over tomorrow? Another creative challenge? Yeah, we're gonna go over another day creative challenge. Day eight, nine? Yeah, day eight. 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 We're right. almost uh, close to our end of the daily creative challenge, but be sure to sign in, um, log on. 8.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. We're gonna introduce the creative challenge, and then in the afternoon, Katie and I are gonna work through with it. So be sure to tune in to know what the daily creative challenge is. And real quick, if you guys have not join Slack, be sure to join XD Slack. It's bit.ly, bit .ly, uh, join XD Slack. So then that's where we announce the daily challenges. So be sure to do that. Uh, and then we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah. And tomorrow we won't be reviewing um, the challenges, but we'll be doing portfolio review as part of the, the mm -hmm. day three of the stream. So yep. look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Yep. Thank you very much. Bye, you guys. Bye.